Astrophotography is one of the fastest growing genres of image making and a genuine untapped source of income for professionals seeking to diversify from the saturated markets of landscapes and weddings. However, anyone who has tried shooting a star tray will know it isn't an exact science and sometimes your results can lack that final effect of a perfectly looped trail. Fear not though, because Affinity Photo's Radial Blur tool can be used to enhance the effect of your star trail image, bringing a more professional looking finish to the frame. The techniques can be combined with a number of other adjustments to make the most of every pixel in your frame, and the best news is that the whole technique allows for a high degree of precision and takes less than 5 minutes. So open up your star trail in Affinity Photo and make sure you're in the photo persona. Our first step is to make a live layer which differs from a normal workflow as it's non-destructive. This means we can go back and edit it if we make a mistake rather than starting the whole process again. To get going, head up to Layer, scroll down and find a new Live Filter Layer, scroll across to Blur, and of course we want to select Radial Blur. You'll notice in your Layers panel that the Live Layer has been created and is automatically selected, ready for you to work on. So we've got our dialog box here, and we're going to adjust the angle. Click and drag the slider to the right, and you'll see the effect start to change. With a live layer, you'll also notice there's some alpha white areas in the corners of the frame. So to get rid of those, click on the preserve alpha box. There we go, it's gone. If your star trail center point is dead center, you shouldn't have any problems, but that's not the case with many frames, and certainly with ours. So you'll notice that the blur effect is all a bit messed up at the moment. What we need to do is find our center point, line up the mouse, and click on it. It might take a couple of attempts to get right, but once you do, everything will fall into place. Increase the angle until the star trail completes its blur. So I'm just going to click on and off the radial blur live filter and show you before and after. This is before, where there's lots of gaps in between the stars. And this is after, where we've got that nice circular star trail. So once you've sorted your point of origin and adjusted the angle strength, it's now time to make any other adjustments that you want to make. Typically with star bursts, it can pay to add a curves boost. So I'm going to go up to layer, new adjustment layer, across and down to find curves. And when the histogram appears, I'm just going to draw out a general S shape to really make the most of every pixel in the frame. I'm going to add one more adjustment layer, and this time it's going to be an HSL to give a color boost. So I'm going to head up to layer, down to adjustment layer, across and down to HSL. And of course, I'm going to find the saturation shift and drag this to the right to boost the colors. Okay, let's get rid of this so you can see the final image. And we've gone from this before image to the final image in just a few minutes. Once you're happy with your adjustments, you can export the file by heading up to File, scrolling down to Export, and then saving the file in your chosen format, be that a JPEG, TIFF, or anything else. I hope you've enjoyed watching this Affinity Photo tutorial. Have fun editing your Star Trail images, and I'll see you next time.